the island has been faced with a concerning amount of dark energy in Chapter 3 Season 3, and we definitely can't trust it. From corrupted artifacts, secret dialogue, and even a possible new form of the Cube Queen herself, this might just be the final return of the last reality to our Fortnite island. Ever since the Cube Queen's disappearance in the Chapter 2 end event, the community couldn't just help but think that she wasn't dead, she wasn't gone, and now we've got some proper evidence. If you've been paying attention to the recent storyline quests, you will know that Cryptic, a character in Rave Cave, have been stealing some really interesting relics and artifacts from around our island. One thing that all the artifacts you know they have in common in their appearance is a distinct combination of blue and purple energetic lines. And in Fortnite, these energies are most commonly known as zero point energy and also dark magic, like the ones the mages used in Fortnite's earlier elemental storyline. If these relics or artifacts are containing this typical type of energy, and we can assume it's dark magic and also zero point energy, we're going to just need a little bit more of evidence to confirm all of this, and straight away, I've found it. Cryptic's description for his NPC mentions how he's very much interested in normal magic and dark magic, like both of them. He's clearly filling his interests, attracting both the zero point and beings of dark matter through these artifacts in which he's stealing. I mean, Epic, are you even trying to hide this? This is pretty obvious. This, you know, it's definitely got something to do with the cubes and darkness. Now, if the reality tree attracts the last reality back to our island, we sort of need to know why or how, but it's definitely linked to the reality tree. We know these artifacts are being brought in by the zero point and the zero point is connected to the reality tree and if they have dark energy within them, we know that the zero point is having like corruption channeled through it. Now if the zero point is susceptible to both dark matter and the last reality and the reality tree and it's just very vulnerable, this will be the perfect time for the last reality to make their comeback and take control. Cube Queen might already even be in our reality because at the end of the chapter 3 season 3 trailer, we see this character, who many seem to call the Bloom Watcher, but many others are also convinced that she's another form of the Cube Queen. If that were to be true, it would explain why the Bushranger sensed that the reality tree had darkness within. I mean, they look pretty similar to the reality tree, and it would also explain why the artifacts are becoming corrupted because the Cube Queen is trying to, you know, send her energy through the zero point, break it down so it's susceptible, she can take control. It's really smart. It would also explain why these two characters look really, really similar. I mean, just think of it. They have both like blue, sort of cyan blue looking eyes. I mean, one of them's cubes, one of them isn't. Maybe this is like a non-cube queen kind of form. They have both like hot pinkish hair and they have both purple makeup. Now, I mean, this character doesn't really have like a crown, but as I said, it could be more of like a, a casual form. Maybe the armor limits her abilities. Maybe she lets free and just whatever she wants to when she's like not wearing the armor. Maybe it's like a whole nother form of some sort. Personally, I have my own theories on this character herself, but this one could be totally true as well. And it really makes sense. I mean, either way, I think some people are just forgetting about this one piece of information which pretty much just literally confirms the Cube Queen is returning no matter what. No matter which way it happens, no matter if she's the Blue Watcher or not, she's coming back. Just take a minute to think back to this moment. Remember when Chapter 3 was first leaked out, all the information, the initial notes, and how they mentioned briefly about how this alien Cube Queen character would be playing a massive role in Chapter 3's storyline? Yeah, well, that obviously means that she can't die, and it seems to be being, you know, teased right now, and there we go, a literal piece of proper evidence that we can confirm. She's playing a huge role in Chapter 3, she's supposedly vanished in Chapter 2, she is coming back, but that's definitely not it. If this character, Bloom Watcher, is a cube queen, you know, alternate form thingy, if it really is the queen herself, it would kind of make a lot of sense and piece everything together. Think about it. Season 3 has no live event. Season 4 starts to get really weird and uncomfy and strange and the 7 are like, whoa, what's going on? And then at the end of Season 4, there's an event which properly introduces the Cube Queen's return. And by Season 5, like the middle of the chapter, we've met our main enemy. That would make perfect sense. And for those of you who think it's like a lazy return of the Cube Queen, no, we've already had it before, it's lazy. Cube Queen was only a part of the story for one season and not even a full season. She was a secret skin of the last season of, you know, chapter 2, and she also died or vanished at the end of chapter 2. That's like literally under a month that she was in the story. That is not reusing. She needs more screen time. She needs to matter more for being so powerful. She can't just die like that. 
I mean, really, like, to think about it, you know, it makes perfect sense. I was originally kind of in denial about this being Cube Queen. I mean, it was like, no, surely it's a new character. It's one of the godlike figures. But if she's coming back in any way, which we already have confirmed that she is, this definitely makes sense, and she definitely is not dead. We're probably going to see the wrath of her, you know, return fairly soon. Maybe the end of Season 4, end of Season 3, mid-Season 4 kind of thing. I mean, what do you think? Comment below your thoughts on this theory, how it will play out, how all of it makes sense. And remember, I have other ideas as well. I don't 100% agree with this theory. I think it's definitely possible. And it's definitely a very interesting idea. So we can't exactly, you know, set in stone, confirm anything just as of yet. But there is something we can confirm. We won't be partying for too much longer.